What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholtz, back again with another awesome episode from Beard Brand. Hope all's going well on the other side of the Internet. Want to talk to you guys today about patchy beards, what you can do about it, and uh, whether or not you got one. So first thing, I'm going to break it down to three type of patchy beards. There's going to be the patchy beard that, well, they're all patchy beards, all right? So let's get going and start talking about them. First one's first is, uh, I wanna show you this photo. This is a photo of a guy who's grown a beard for one month. To me, it looks like a pretty sparse, a pretty patchy beard. Now this is the exact same guy four months later when he's committed to growing his beard. Look at that, it's filled in, it's a lot fuller, a lot of the patches are, are covered. And what's important with this is a patchy beard may or may not actually be a patchy beard if you give it time to grow. Because what happens is the hairs on your beard, they all grow at different speeds. So what you need to do when growing your beard, if you do start off with a patchy beard, is to really give it that time to see what your potential is. So you wanna give it like three or four months uh, to see how it fills in, to see how the hairs uh, cover up the patches, to see, uh, what it does. Um, and then you may end up having just a, a fantastic beard that, that fills in. So uh, having a patchy beard at an early stage doesn't always mean you're going to have patches. So like every beard uh, has patches in it. Mine, you know, right here, you can't, I can't really see it because my mustache covers it, but these are uh, pretty sparse here. And then I've got uh, my, this side of my cheek is a little bit thinner and I've got like a patch here. Um, but it's getting covered up by uh, the hair as it grows in, so it's not that big a deal. And you're your own worst critic. So you're in the mirror, you're, what is this, this far away from the mirror, and you can see every single thing about your beard. But when you talk to people and they're passing by, you know, no one's gonna notice like all those details. They're gonna see more of the big picture of what your beard looks like. Now for the guys that have grown their beard out, for three to four months, and it's still patchy as hell, and you just can't stand it, um, then my suggestion is you don't have to go completely shaven if you don't want. You know, you can wear facial hair. But my recommendation is, similar to how when you, you go bald, uh, try to go with a shorter beard. And a shorter beard is going to look more presentable. So guys like Johnny Depp, he has a patchy beard, it doesn't grow in full, but you'll see him rocking facial hair. And uh, it's kind of that scruff look that you can get away with. And it doesn't matter where the patches come in, how they grow in, just having that little bit of scruff. Um, who's another guy, James uh, Franco, is it Franco or DeFranco? James Franco, the guy in that pineapple movie. Anyways, he also has a, a pretty patchy beard that he does let grow in, just at a shorter length. Now there's a third type of patchy beard, and these are the guys who um, say they have a patchy beard, um, but really their expectations are too high. So um, I was talking to a guy one time at an event, and it was like five o'clock, he had a five o'clock shadow coming in, it was like as dense as could be. Like if he gave it a week's worth of time, he would like plume into this giant beard. And I said, hey man, why don't you grow a beard? And he's like, oh man, it comes in patchy. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like that comes in patchy? Here's the deal, the reality. All beards, like you're not gonna have the Homer Simpson beard where you shave and then just everything is absolutely covered. Like that is unrealistic expectations. That's not how beards come in. Like maybe, maybe like one guy and a hundred has a beard that grows in like that. And that one guy, he's shaving his beard off because he doesn't want it. So taper your expectations. And really, like, you're not going to know if you have a patchy beard or not until you let it grow. So don't walk around with this dense-ass beard telling everyone, oh, I don't grow a beard because it comes in patchy. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Cheers. Beard on.